Welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. This is our best gaming laptop 2024 buying guide where we cover everything that you need to know to buy the best gaming laptop in 2024 and we'll go over our specific picks for the best gaming laptops in 2024 at every budget level. The number one most important thing to focus on to get the best gaming laptop 2024, it's the graphics card, also called the GPU. Now specifically, we're looking for laptops with a dedicated graphics processor. That's different than the weaker integrated graphics supplied on the CPU. In 2024, NVIDIA GPUs, particularly the RTX 4000 series, just dominates the current gaming laptop models. Yes, AMD and Intel also make laptop GPUs, but you can't really find any models available at retail in the US. There are three critical parts to getting the right gaming laptop GPU. It's the overall performance, the amount of video RAM or VRAM on the GPU, and the GPU's total graphics power, also called the TGP or maximum graphics power. First, let's look at relative GPU performance and VRAM. The laptop RTX 4060 eight gigabyte GPU is our baseline and is good for an average of 90 FPS in a wide range of titles at 1080p ultra settings, according to testing by Jared's Tech and Notebook Check. Both of those are linked down in the video description. But FPS depends heavily on the game. In Cyberpunk 2077, the RTX 4060 laptop was good for 71 FPS at 1080p Ultra, while in CS2 at 1080p Ultra, it averaged 140 FPS, and turning down the quality competitive settings, it got nearly 200 FPS. The RTX 4070 eight gigabyte comes at about 15% faster in average FPS than the RTX 4060. The RTX 4080 12 gigabyte makes a huge jump up to 56% faster than the RTX 4060 and is our baseline for playing most titles at 1440p ultra settings. And the RTX 4090 comes in a whopping 74% faster with 16 gigabytes of VRAM and is our no compromises, play anything at any resolution GPU. I've also included the RTX 3000 series GPUs if you find an older model on clearance and the RTX 4050 and RTX 3060 for the ultra budget crowd as well. Note that this kind of testing has a lot of variation, so take these numbers as a general guideline rather than exact measurements. Now let's talk VRAM, a huge issue in 2024. VRAM is the amount of video RAM available to the dedicated graphics processor, and it's different from the system RAM, which is for the CPU. Newer AAA titles with high graphics fidelity like Alan Wake 2 and Hogwarts Legacy are now using more than eight gigabytes of VRAM, even at 1080p ultra settings. And you may need to turn down textures to high or even medium with eight gigabyte GPUs. In 2024, this is mostly an issue for single player high fidelity graphics games. So if you primarily play competitive titles like CS2 or Valorant, where you turn down the graphics to get more FPS, this doesn't impact you as much, at least in 2024. We cover VRAM issues in depth in our best GPU for gaming video, so I'll leave a link to that down in the video description for a deeper dive. My recommendation is to buy a gaming laptop with a GPU that has at least eight gigabytes of VRAM in 2024 for 1080p, medium to high settings gaming, 12 gigabytes of VRAM for no compromises 1080p and most 1440p gaming, and 16 gigabytes of VRAM for no compromises gaming at 1440p or 4K and six gigabyte GPUs like the RTX 3060 and RTX 4050, they're really just for ultra budget gaming laptops. The third major GPU factor is total graphics power, literally the amount of power the GPU is allowed to draw. Now this is usually abbreviated as TGP, but I've also seen it referred to as maximum graphics power, and it should be listed in the system specs as a number, or two numbers that you add together to get the total. For the maximum gaming performance, we want to see at least 90 watts for the RTX 4050, 4060, and 4070, and testing found that performance does not increase much over 100 watts for these GPUs. For the RTX 4080 and 4090, we want to see at least 150 watts, and increased power does give us a little bit more FPS for these GPUs. The RTX 3000 series laptop GPUs are less power efficient, and we want to see at least 130 watts for them. GPUs with power limits below these are generally found in the thinner and lighter gaming laptops where you trade gaming performance for portability. One quick note on MUX switches and advanced Optimus, which are ways of ensuring that the dedicated gaming GPU is not bottlenecked by the onboard integrated graphics on the CPU, which used to happen a lot. Thankfully, for the laptops we're considering, I have yet to see one without advanced Optimus, so this is less of a concern in 2024. If you're wondering if you should wait for RTX 5000 series gaming laptops, Current rumors point to an announcement in the first quarter of 2025, and then it typically takes three to four months for the first models to roll out to retail, 
which would put them almost a year out from the time of filming. The CPU is the number two most important thing when buying the best gaming laptop in 2024, but it should never overshadow getting the right GPU. Now for gaming, we just want a CPU that's not gonna bottleneck our graphics card. Now that happens less when we're maxing out graphics settings and resolution in a game like Elder Scrolls, and more when we turn down the settings and get a massive amount of FPS in competitive titles like CS2, Fortnite, and League of Legends. AMD and Intel make all the gaming CPUs in 2024, but choosing the right one can feel impossible with all the crazy naming, like AMD's Ryzen 9 8945HS or Intel's i7-13650HX. So which one should you look for? Well, the CPUs that have an HX at the end of their name are the highest performance of their generation, followed by the CPUs that end in either H or HK. The CPUs that end in HS are typically lower power gaming CPUs found in thin and light gaming laptops with lower TGP graphics cards. In terms of performance and availability, you'll mostly find the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs and Intel 13th and 14th gen CPUs in most high-end and mid-range gaming laptops. For more budget gaming laptops, you'll find the Ryzen 6000 and Intel 12th gen CPUs. You also might find some newer CPUs that have lower gaming performance than the 13th or 14th gen with Intel's Core Ultra 100 and 200 series. And the Ryzen 8000 laptop CPUs recently introduced are actually lower in performance than the Ryzen 7000 due to it being a different architecture that adds AI neural processing at the expense of gaming. Most laptop makers do a pretty good job of pairing the right CPU with their GPUs, so it's hard to get this wrong here, and honestly, I wouldn't fret too much about it. How much RAM do you need in the best gaming laptop 2024? While 16 gigabytes total RAM is still fine for the vast majority of titles, recent testing has shown that some newer AAA titles can occasionally micro stutter when limited to 16 gigabytes. It isn't game breaking, and this currently only affects a handful of new single player AAA titles, but I would generally opt for 32 gigabytes of RAM for anything in the mid range or higher if you can get it. On the other end, I would absolutely skip anything with only eight gigabytes of system RAM. My advice is to get what you feel you need right now and don't depend on a RAM upgrade at some point in the future. As always, we wanna get a two stick configuration. So two sticks of RAM, not just one, if possible. Though not all gaming laptop makers list how many sticks of RAM are in their laptops. Thankfully, now that most gaming laptops have moved to DDR5, the performance penalty for a single stick configuration, it's much lower but grab a dual stick configuration if you can. Let's quickly cover the screen that comes with your laptop. Today, the fastest gaming laptops come with high refresh rate panels, and some of them are now OLED, which has incredible contrast and HDR, but they're a little bit more expensive. High refresh rate 4K, 1440p, and 1080p panels start out at 120 or 144 hertz, which you can think of as FPS, and they go up to a total overkill of 300 hertz and higher. Remember, you can always lower your gaming resolution to get more FPS on a high resolution screen like 4K, but you cannot make a lower resolution display like 1080p suddenly output at 4K. And you can always plug in an external monitor as well. Finally, while the vast majority of laptops with NVIDIA GPUs come with G-Sync screens, this prevents screen tearing while gaming. I have seen some lower end models that skip this feature. My advice is to make sure you get a G-Sync screen included. Let's jump into our recommendations for the best gaming laptops of 2024, which are all gonna be listed and linked down in the video description. I'll update those links regularly with the best deals, so check them out for current pricing and availability in your region. Listings with fire emojis are great deals, and if it has two fire emojis, it means it's an incredible deal for the performance. All right, starting off with our best gaming laptop 2024 recommendations, we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. You can get some semblance of what pricing looks like out here. And we're gonna start, of course, with the RTX 4090 gaming laptops right now. I will say this, I'm filming this during the 4th of July sale weekend, so the prices that you're gonna see on some of these models, they're probably a little bit lower than you typically see. I'm in fact a lot lower on something like this. Because we're starting at the top, we're gonna to start with the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 17, the X3D model. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Ryzen 7945HX3D. This is the first time that AMD has put their X3D CPUs that are absolutely crushing the gaming desktop market into a laptop. Now, MSI is going to come out with a Titan version very, very soon, but right now, this is the one that rules the roost. $3,299, actually a very, very good price right now. This is obviously a sale typically more like $3,500, $3,600, and it depends on the configuration you're going to get. This has a QHD screen, so basically it's 1440p, 240 hertz, great screen on it, 32 gigs of RAM, a two terabyte SSD, 
really kind of all the fixings in terms of ports and everything else. So if you're looking for like the max, the max, the max, this is the one to get. Sticking with RTX 4090 gaming laptops, but coming down off those super expensive X 3D gaming CPUs, you can find something like this. This is with a 14th gen i9 14900HX. This is the Alienware M18. Two things I wanna emphasize here. A lot of these 4090s are big. They, these are 18 inch. The last one I showed you was a 17 inch. These are large laptops. They're not as portable. You're getting a ton of power, a ton of cooling in here, but you're trading that off. It's almost somewhat like a desktop replacement that you can basically just take anywhere and you get pretty dang good desktop gaming PC performance in a package you can pick up and take somewhere else. I also wanna emphasize there, there are a number of customizable options. For instance, we're on the Dell website right now with Android Alienware, but Lenovo will allow you to do this. So will HP. They have models that you can obviously buy off the shelf pre-configured, but then there are also models like this that you can go through and configure yourself. Now, when you're doing a 4090, they're only gonna let you get kind of the max parts. So if they if you drop down like the CPU to too low, it's gonna drop the GPU, but you can see you can go through and configure this and kind of come up with the one that works best for you. Right now, the way this is configured, 32 gigs of RAM, it's two by 16 gigabytes. It's not the fastest kit there. I kind of think this is overkill. It's also like four or $500 to go up with the ones that will use XMP timings. You could go to 64 gigs instead on this if maybe you're like doing some kind of super high end video production or something like that. You can add extra storage to it. And you can also decide to change the screen. Right now I'm opting for the 165 Hertz QHD screen rather than the FHD, the 1080p screen at 480 Hertz. Maybe if you're somebody who loves competitive shooters, you wanna go for that screen as well. And of course you can also get the Cherry MX Ultra, ultra low profile mechanical keyboard instead of the Alienware one that comes with it. All those kind of change the price a little bit. Right now, this is a great configuration for $2,899. All right, let's jump into some RTX 4080 gaming laptops in 2024. And remember all the best deals right now are linked down in the video description. So check that out for current pricing and availability. But let's take a look at some of these. What can you expect in terms of pricing? I think this is kind of more middle of the road in terms of pricing, $2,249. You can find these as cheap as under 2,000 if you want a 16 gigabyte variant up to about $2,600. And again, depends on how you're gonna kit these out, how much storage they have, how much RAM it has, what kind of screen it's got on it. Let's start off with this one, the Lenovo Legion Pro 7. Listen, Lenovo does a fantastic job with their Legion gaming laptops. It's got great RGB on it, always comes with nice tons of ports on it. And this is a 16 inch, absolutely great display on it. This comes with a Ryzen 9 7945HX, top of the line Ryzen gaming CPU right now, 32 gigs of RAM, and it comes with a QHD, basically a 1440p screen. Obviously with the 1600p, it's slightly big, slightly taller than a typical 1440p screen. Phenomenal package right here for $2,249 right now over at Amazon. Here's one I almost didn't show you because again, this is a holiday sale right now, and this is an insane deal. I have not seen an RTX 40, 80 gaming laptop that's kitted out this well for $1,899, 32 gigs of RAM. This is the Alienware M16. So it's a 16 inch screen. It's got a Ryzen 9 processor, just like the other one did on it. And it's got a phenomenal panel as well, a 240 Hertz QHD screen on it. Right now, $1,899. Again, this is what you can often find on the mega sales like Prime Day, maybe Black Friday, something like that. Outside of that, I'd say this is probably typically more like a $2,200 gaming laptop. All right, let's jump into the best gaming laptop, 2024 in the mid range, the mid range. So we're talking about RTX 40, 70 gaming laptops and RTX 4060 gaming laptops, both with eight gigs of VRAM. And remember, all the deals right now are linked down in the video description, so check that out for the awesome deals right now. Here's about the upper bounds of what I would pay for an RTX 4070 gaming laptop, $1,700, $1,694.99. And why would I buy this over a, a cheaper RTX 4070 laptop out there? Well, let's take a look at the specs so you might see why this might be worth a little bit more if you have the money for it. This comes with the i9-1400HX. That's a top line Intel gaming CPU right now. So two thumbs up there. Comes with 32 gigs, DDR5, 5600 memory. Absolutely awesome. Comes with a two by 16 gigabyte kit. So you can see it's got two sticks of RAM. One terabyte SSD, you love to have two terabytes there, but this has an amazing screen on it. It's got a, it's a 1440p screen with this a little taller. That's why it's the 2560 by 1600 screen. And it's 240 Hertz, 240 Hertz. So phenomenal panel. 
And I know that Lenovo makes great quality gaming laptops with their Legion lineup. So this is a really good pickup for somebody looking to the upper high end, but not quite ready to jump up to 4080 money. Let me show you a different RTX 4070 gaming laptop on stupid sale, stupid sale right now for the 4th of July, obviously, but it highlights the differences in specs between the two models and kind of the variation in terms of overall pricing, what you might get. I'm going to check out those deals though, for, to find stuff like this, $1,199. Like Jason, RTX 4070 gaming laptop for $1,199. What's the difference? Well, first off, this is a full HD, a 1080p screen that's 144 hertz. So massive difference on the screen. The second thing we've got here is it's an i. 7 13620H. So far cry from the 14900HX CPU that we were just looking at. And this has 16 gigabytes of system RAM. Now, maybe you think, hey, Jason, that's about the price bracket I'm looking for. And I'd love to jump up to an RTX 4070 gaming laptop. And if so, I think this is a great deal, a great deal. But if you do have a little bit more money to spend, you can find those better specs. Let's jump into RTX 4060 gaming laptops in 2024. And what can you expect to spend? Well, anywhere from just under $1,000, so $900-ish, all the way up to almost $1,300, depending on the specs. Now, the system I'm gonna show you, if it wasn't on like 4th of July sale right now, I would typically expect to spend probably about $1,200, maybe $1,300 on this, and I would gladly spend it because it's a pretty good set of specs on it. This is the Dell G15. Dell does a great job with their G15. Now, they're not the Alienware super high-end gaming laptops, but they're still very high quality. The build quality is much improved. They've much improved the panels on these as well, and they've added additional ports to them. So two thumbs up there. This is one with an i7-13650HX CPU and 32 gigs of system RAM. Now, I've added that into the custom configurator because it is a little bit harder to find with these RTX 4060 gaming laptops, kind of the pre-configured ones like on Amazon or other places like that with more than 16 gigs of system RAM. And if you do want that, this is a great deal. $1,100 for this is, is insane, by the way. You get a two terabyte SSD. I mean, this is just probably the greatest deal I've seen on RTX 4060 gaming laptop. So if it's still there, grab this one. And of course, we also got the 360 hertz, 1080p screen. Now you don't necessarily need to opt for like a 1440p screen with an RTX 4060. It's not as powerful. I think probably the 1080p screen with the higher refresh rate is gonna do you a little bit better, but obviously you can you can decide to go either way because you certainly could play games at 1440p. Remember the screen's a little bit smaller. This is a 15 inch screen. So that 1080p still looks really crisp at that size. And then of course, rounding out our RTX 4060 gaming laptop deals. This is a laptop I actually own. I actually own the same model. Uh, mine, however, does not have the 7840HS, it's got the 7640HS, and that's slightly less powerful. So this is even a more powerful one than I use right now on a daily basis. Whenever I go away, I, I use this for creative work and other things. $979.99 is crazy because I bought mine for like $1,100, $1,200 at the time. This is the RTX 4060, so it's eight gigs of VRAM on it, one terabyte SSD, the Lenovo Legion Slim. So what you're trading off here with the HS processor, you'll notice it's the lower power processor. You are trading off a little bit of performance in terms of the processor, but you're getting an overall package that's much more portable. So particularly folks, this is 14 and a half inch. If you're looking for something you can slide into a backpack and kind of go, you still need a slightly bigger backpack. You're still gonna get that gaming performance and you're always gonna wanna be plugged in while you're gaming because that GPU just draws so much power, you definitely need to be plugged in. Gaming on batteries, still not great in 2024 if you're using a higher end dedicated graphics card like an RTX 4060. Overall though, I love this package and something like this around about $1,000 or just below is phenomenal. Let's jump to the best cheap gaming laptop in 2024. So this is where we have less than eight gigs of VRAM and there's really only two GPUs that I really wanna focus on here. That is the RTX 4050 and the RTX 3060. Both of those have six gigs of VRAM. Yes, I know they changed the RTX 3050 from a four gigabyte one to the newer models are now six gigabyte, but they also nerfed the memory bus. I just wouldn't even look at those and they're not that much cheaper than something like this. This is the Acer Nitro. Remember the name Acer Nitro. Acer makes a lot of the cheaper gaming laptops. They do a pretty good job with quality, obviously. If you're spending a lot less money, there's gonna be trade-offs. More, A little bit more plasticky, you're gonna get a lot more flexion in the keyboard. That being said, these gaming laptops are pretty good. They're really good. This is gonna be a 1080p, 144 hertz screen on it. 512 gigs of SSD. I did check, you can actually add an additional M.2 NVMe drive in here if you feel comfortable cracking open the laptop and doing that. Otherwise, you know, it's just gonna take a little bit of game management. 
512 is still manageable. And you're getting an i7-13620H, pretty powerful CPU for just $849. And then coming down the price point, $799 is about as much as you're gonna shave off. I have seen this one down to $749 on super duper sales, although we're in a super sale period right now and it's only $799. So this is something that you can expect around an i5 12500H. So basically they've just swapped out that higher end 13th gen CPU for a lower end i5 12500H, probably just kind of whatever they got left sitting around. Still 16 gigs of system RAM. That's very, very important. I would not drop to eight gigs of system RAM in 2024, just not worth it. You're not gonna enjoy the experience and you're not gonna save that much more money anyway and a 512 gigabyte SSD. So this is a pretty good deal and I would snap these up if this is what you got to spend. Remember all the best gaming laptop 2024 deals are linked down in the video description. So check those out. And as you're scrolling down, click that like button if you got value out of the video, it really does help out the channel. And we'll catch you on the next one.